Good evening, everybody. Um, man, first off, I want to say I hope everybody's having a great day. I finally just woke my butt up because I, I knocked out because I've been staying up late every day. And I finally got me like three hours of sleep. So, needed that. Still feel a little tired, but I feel compelled. I feel totally compelled to speak about this topic that I'm about to discuss with you guys today. And um, the reason why I'm speaking on this topic is because we trying to bridge a gap, right? Well, this is a gap that needs to be bridged and it goes directly into the hoods, man. Straight up. So we're going to talk about the no snitching policy that goes on in the hood, all right? And if you're from the hood, you know what I'm talking about. Something happens, brother gets killed, and everybody there seeing who did it, they won't even talk to the police. There will not be a discussion because there's a no snitching policy in effect, all right? Now, that gets bred into us young. You get told, yo, no snitching, bro. You don't talk to the police. Uh, it don't matter. Don't talk to the police. We handle it on our own. And then it just keeps on perpetuating the same cycle of violence. For instance, brother that just passed away in the gas station. I'm not going to put his name out, and I'm not going to say you know the details of it until I speak with his family. But this brother, man, it, it was tragic. Tragic, for real. And I know people know who these people are that did it because their faces are right out there for the public to see, all right? Yet, so far, as far as I know, nobody's came forward. I know, in my hood, no snitching. That's, that was the policy, you know what I'm saying? Personally, I'm grown. I'm grown. I'm talking to y'all. Look, I've been a game banger. I've been, I've been out in the streets. I've been, I've been a whole different person than I am today. All right? And I used to adhere to that no snitching policy, but I'm going to tell you right now, as an educated black man, as a man that, that has children, a man that wants to see change, there's no way possible. If I see you whack somebody, if I see you blow somebody's head off, man, and especially, especially if you do it in front of kids like how this kid just got did, you better believe the police asked me, I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, it was him. And I know that goes against everything that we've ever been taught. In our community but i'm telling you we got to bridge the gap and that's what's going to have to happen if you want to see black lives matter then you have to make a matter all the time like i said before that's a part of making it happen and, and and making black lives matter all the time and it's not just black i'm talking in the latino community i'm even talking about in the lower white community because i know a lot of y'all ain't gonna believe this but in a lot of the neighborhoods that, that we live in you know what I'm saying? Growing up, it was mixed. We got white, we got black, we got Mexican. This is not a race thing. This is not race exclusive. If you grow up in our culture of uh, being in the hood, then you have that no snitching policy, period. Don't matter what color you are. You are not excluded from it when you grow up in the hood. And anybody from the hood can tell you that. So I'm not making this a black thing. I'm just, I'm, I'm using it because the narrative right now is... The, the crime in the black community. That's the narrative that they push. I want to say the crime in all communities, in all lower income communities, all low class communities, whether that be black, whether that be brown, whether that be white, it doesn't matter. It's still a no snitching policy because we're from the hood. And that's just how it is. All right. Now, I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to encourage you. All right. Face your community. If you see something going on that don't need to be going on and you know that it's wrong, especially when it gets down to the point of murder, of murdering another human life, another human being, getting their life taken because of whatever, because of the color that they wore, because of they stole something from you before, because they got into a fight with you a year ago, because they messing with your girl, because whatever, whatever the reason is never justified to take another life unless you're defending your own life. You understand? And even then, you should try your best, man, to avoid taking somebody's life. You understand what I'm saying? We're American. We're American, and you guys know I'm for I'm for the I'm for guns, bro. I am for guns. I stand I stand with our Second Amendment right. That's just me. All right, that's just me. But I guarantee you, if we had, and this is gonna sound crazy. I'm sorry, but I gotta say it. All right, because we wouldn't need no no snitching. I wouldn't even be having to have this conversation with you right now if everybody was able to carry a pistol. I'm just going to say it. You get licensed for it. You get permitted for it. You have a concealed carry. However the laws are, if you were able to have a gun and it wasn't so hard, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, 
we'd see a drop in the crime rates. I guarantee you there'd be a lot less murders. Guaranteed. All right? Rest in peace to the brother. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to say his name yet. It's tragic, man. But you guys out there in, in the community, bro, if y'all know who did this to this kid, man, his family is hurting right now. His family is devastated right now. I don't care if y'all try to jump in the comments and say, well, he was so-and-so and he had this that he did. and he It don't matter. He was killed in front of some children in a damn store, fearful for his life. You understand? That's wrong. That's wrong, period. You can't, you can't explain that away. I don't care what, what, it, what the narrative is about somebody's life and what they were. It's wrong. And this got to stop. It has to stop. And the only way that it's going to stop is if we stop the things that we've been taught that have led us to believe that snitching on somebody, if that's what you want, snitching, I call it being an upstanding citizen. That's what, that's what I call it. If you see some wrong being done and you report that to the city officials or the, the city police, you're not a snitch. You're an upstanding citizen that probably saved a person's life because that person killed that person. He's going to kill another person. Period. Period. If he got away, if you get away with stealing, what does it make you want to do? Steal again. If you get away with murder, what does it make you want to do? I'm assuming murder again. Don't know. Thank God I ain't never killed nobody. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you guys, man, it's got to stop. So stop teaching this to the young, man. Be careful with y'all. Be, just be careful. People, be, uh, be observant of who your kids hang around. Start being a little more focused on who your kids hang around, man, and, and just be careful with it. Because the culture that we all grew up in is still alive and well today. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's gotten a little bit better. It's just, it's still the same. So, I'm not going to tell you, don't snitch. Nah, I'm going to tell you, plain and simple, it ain't snitching. It's called saving a life, man. You saving a life. We don't need no murderers running around out here, man. We don't need that. That got to stop. That's got to stop. Because I'm going to tell you right now, man, you get the right people... Man, what if that was your kid? That's how I want to look at that. Imagine if this was your child, or if this was your brother, or if this was your cousin, or if this was your father that got murdered in the store. I want you to think about that. And you knew that the people in your community knew who it was that killed your father, but they won't tell you. Because at this point, you're so distraught, you're going to go to the police. All right? Or they won't go to the police because... No snitching. They don't want to get lose their name and their reputation in the hood, which your reputation in the hood ain't never gotten you a damn thing. It ain't never got me a damn thing except a bad name. In cities where I would go into, they'd be like, oh, man, that go that dude, Wooty Woo, and I have to watch my back. So I wouldn't be the next one murdered. You understand? That cycle got to stop. We got we to gotta do something. You hear me? So, yeah, man. Uh, and this, this goes out to the brothers that if you did kill that person and you happen to be watching this video... I'm asking you to turn yourself in, man. Turn yourself in so that family can get justice because you was wrong. You was wrong. And if you don't turn yourself in so you can see your day in court, God got a funny thing with karma. He got a funny thing. You will always reap what you sow. Do you understand me? You will always reap what you sow. Understand what I'm telling you. I'm not wishing death upon you. I'm telling you do the right thing and turn yourself in. Turn yourself in. You understand? You don't want to reap what you sow, man. You don't want to lose your life. Because I guarantee you, if you're on the run, man, and you lose your life, then I don't know what kind of standing you're going to be in with God. But I hope to God it's a good standing. You feel me? Do the right thing. Because this is just a trial period. This life that you live right now is a trial period. You understand? I can't tell you what comes after this. I know I got my own personal faith. And I know that if my faith is right, then, yeah, you're going to have some hell to pay. If you don't get it right, turn yourself in. Apologize to the family. It's not going to do much, man, but, but give them closure, bro. You hear me? That's my message for you guys today. I'm sorry I seem a little adamant about it, but yeah, there's a video going around and it's heartbreaking and I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to speak about it, how you could look at it. None of that, man. It's don't watch it. And that needs to be reported from fa to Facebook and taken down, man. Straight up. It's not right. So, yeah, forget the no snitching. Put that, put that thing away. Put that away. You hear me? Come together. Face your community. You guys get together, man. Get together. Everybody's life matters, bro. And in our own communities, black lives got to matter the most to us. Because we the ones taking our own lives. Y'all have a good day, man. Be blessed. I'm going to sign up off here right now.
talk to you guys again on the next topic, whatever it comes to be. I don't know. Just so you know, none of this stuff, this all comes from our heart. So that's why if it seems like I'm rambling a little bit, it's coming straight from right here, man. I'm not about to sit and write a script. I'm not going to sit and touch on topics that I don't feel are necessary. This is necessary for our community. This topic right here is necessary for us. That's why we're getting it out the way right now. So forget the no snitching. Nah, report crime in your community so you can help your community, so you can save your children, so you can save my children, so we can save our children. Our brothers, our fathers, our sisters, our mothers. Pain. You feel me? Come on, man. I shouldn't have to break this down to y'all. Real talk. And I'm not talking about y'all, the viewers. I'm talking about y'all in the hood. We should already know this, man. But y'all have a good day and be blessed, all right?